house here, and then down the hallway are two other ALT houses. Mm -hmm. And actually, because I have another ALT living next door, Fat Two, mm -hmm. uh, we share a Wi-Fi. So we only pay half the bill every month, and our apartments are so small it can extend to both our places. Okay, yeah. nice. I heard that there's another ALT that lives below oh, you. She actually moved out. Yeah. Oh, so there's four ALTs on this building. Is this like a teacher's three. building? Uh, yeah, it's a teacher's building, but there's three now. There's me, Fatu, and Michael. Okay, yeah. nice. <laughs> so, oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so Zoe. So this is Zoe. Hello. And where do you live, Zoe? I live in Ojia, mm -hmm. um, in Niigata. How long have you been here? I've been here for about a year and a half now. Okay, what do you do here? Um, I teach English. I'm an ALT. With who? With the Ojia Board of Education. Okay, so you're on the JET program. Yes, yes I am, the JET program. Okay, so I wanted everybody to see what they can do to transform their apartment. Um, by this time, they would have already seen my very awful apartment that I got. Mm -hmm. I actually haven't been there, but I've heard some things. <laughs> yep, the things you've heard are yes. correct. So I, what I want to do is to show um, other ALTs just what it is that they can do to improve their apartment. And quite frankly, you have one of the best apartments I've ever seen. Thank you. So let us walk us through this loveliness. Okay, um, where should we start? Let's start um, from here. Okay, so the entryway. Um, I have these little hangers. Where did, you, where did you get those? On Amazon, actually. Oh, yeah. these are cute. It just sticks on with like a little sticker. It's very easy, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, it looks cute. Oh, and you... I have my keys here because I used to lose them all the time, but mm -hmm. I just like put them on. Right okay. There. Um, I have this umbrella stand. Mm -hmm. I got this from a jet who moved actually. Um, good tip, like those Facebook pages and stuff or just like check jets who are moving or people who are moving and they often will give you stuff for like very cheap or free and like, you know, it's a good way to get stuff. Okay. Um, bike helmet hanging on the door. This was here when I arrived and I actually don't really use it much, but there it is. Okay. I see you have some things on the wall here. Yeah, um, I got this at Nitori. I was thinking of putting this on the whole wall, uh -huh. but um, it cost about $20 for this much. Oh. And see how small it is? Yeah, oh. so I ended up getting a different one from Amazon that's a lot cheaper. Okay. But I have a little accent piece here. Okay, and you have your... My shoe covered. Uh -huh. This is very useful, and if you don't have one, I would recommend getting a shoe rack just to organize your stuff. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so what do we have to our... The kitchen? Uh, yeah, I forgot. What was <laughs> it? What is this? Is it a left or right? Oh, uh, that's our... your left. Left? left? Yeah. <laughs> my left, your right. <laughs> your left, my right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so this is the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Um. So when I moved in, there was... A huge stain on the floor. Oh. I scrubbed it, I scrubbed it, it does not come out, so I got a cute kitchen rat. Okay, nice. Yeah. Um, I also got these counters here, mm -hmm. which there's kind of a counter before, but there's no counter space. Mm -hmm. And it was like about this big and it stuck out a lot. It was like this. Oh. And like that. Oh. Yeah, so it was very awkward. And uncomfortable. Yeah, so I got these from Nijori, which the price was about, I think, like, Nimanen together. What's Nimanen? It's like, <laughs> it's like 200 USD. Oh, that's like 20,000 US dollars. Uh, 20,000 US dollars! 20,000 <laughs> no, 20, yen! <laughs> yeah, which like, it sounds like a lot, but when you think about, I use them every day, you know? And I've been here for a year and a half, so it's pretty good. Convenient, mm -hmm. too. Okay. And you don't have to get them new if you have like some sort of transportation because if you go to a secondhand store like Hardoff, mm -hmm. you can find like almost identical ones there for like half the price. Oh. Yeah. But I didn't really have a way to like carry it, so I got new because okay. they'll like carry it up and assemble it for you. Okay. What's this right here? Um, this? Mm, this one. Oh, it's a magazine. No, no, no. The oh. <laughs> See, like this <laughs> cover. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is a counter. Um, it has a little pull-out thing here and a cooker. Fancy! Yeah. <laughs> um, I keep my utensils in here. Um, this is random junk, actually. Okay. But, you know, you don't have to be tidy if you have drawers to hide all your stuff. 
I realize though that you have a lot of storage space. Was that I like do. essential for you? Yeah, I really need the storage because I don't really like seeing a lot of stuff out. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. And okay. sometimes you just have like random Freak. stuff. Oh yeah, my pans. So I keep all my pots and pans up here because mm -hmm. there isn't really room anywhere else. Okay, and you have a you have a larger fridge than almost every jet I know. Yeah, I was very lucky. This came with the apartment. It's really great because you can buy in bulk and like have stuff here. You know, okay. if you go to Costco or whatever. Okay, nice. Yeah. And you have some really cute, like everything in your apartment <laughs> is cute, like really organized and neat and cute. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, when I arrived, it was like a bunch of assorted things, which like I think you'll probably like find in your apartment too. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of student apartments, basically it was a college apartment. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if you go to a college guy's apartment and they've got like just random stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I got these from, I got the plates from Nitori mm -hmm. and I got the bowls from secondhand store and the plates from secondhand store and the cups I got for free actually. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Now let's see what, what do you have to your left to right there? <laughs> Oh, this is the bathroom. Mm -hmm. They pull open the door and here we go. Okay. So it came, my apartment came with a washer and dryer. Listen, whenever I come to Ojia, I'm so, so upset because yeah. Only Ojia, I've only seen Ojia ALTs with a washer and a dryer. Oh, yeah. That's I'll a luxury. It has a washer, but not the dryer, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's very useful in the winter because stuff won't dry if you hang it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I put this rod here so you can sort of cover that up because it's useful but it doesn't look very nice. Okay, nice. And then I have a little desk here so I can sit here and I do my makeup, you know, um, get ready after I get out of the shower. The mm -hmm. shower's right this way. Mm -hmm. Like, where did you get this table? I got this at Nitori. Um, yeah, and I just measured really well so it fits the space perfectly. Okay, and you have your jewelry here on this wall. Yeah, it's on this bulletin board. I have some clips up here. I realize also that you, um, you do, like, wallpaper the, the yeah. wall. Yeah, um, so it's a stick-on wallpaper so mm -hmm. it won't ruin the paint. And it really just, like, makes the space a lot cuter. Okay. Ooh, I love your bathroom floor. Thank you. So actually, I got these for the balcony, and then I had some left over. So I was like, let's put this here. Um, and then the gravel I got from a hardware store. Mm -hmm. It's a five kilogram bag, carried it home. Mm -hmm. That's about 10, 12 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> by yourself. <laughs> All right. Um, I have the same curtains as out there, actually. Mm -hmm. These aren't actually bath curtains, but um, I just make sure they dry them out if they get wet. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I have a humid dehumidifier down here, mm -hmm. which I really recommend if you're having mold in your bathroom because like there's no windows in here, right? Mm -hmm. And they have a little fan on top of the shower, but it doesn't really do that much. Okay. So I turn this on every time after I shower and it's really helpful. Okay. I never thought of that. Yeah. It's really good. And if you don't have a dryer, people mm -hmm. use that to dry their clothes too. You just like hang them up and point the dehumidifier at them. Okay. Yeah. Zoe coming through with the tips. Okay. All right. So once you leave the bathroom area, you have this tiny, tiny passage that leads to your living room. Oh. <laughs> so this is where I got the other things I was talking about from Amazon. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, they're a little bit lower quality, so they fall off sometimes. Okay. Um. But honestly, I think they're pretty cute and, you know, I think they're supposed to be insulating. Mm -hmm. I'm not actually sure, but like, if it helps a little bit, like, that's good. Mm -hmm. Because Japanese apartments tend to not accommodate yeah, the winters definitely. or the summers at all. Yeah. Okay. Um, my apartment is often even colder than outside. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I realize that you have, is it a dehumidifier as well? There? Beside the couch? Oh, no, nope, the opposite. It's a humidifier. Ah, so it's a humidifier for the yeah, winter. Yeah. Okay. And you've got a fancy, smanchy looking exercise yeah, equipment. It's a treadmill. And it came with the apartment, actually. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't really use it as often as I'd like to, but it's nice to have. 
Okay. So tell us about your living room space. I realize that you've mm. um, you've added these designs to the wall and you also yeah. have these lights. Mm. But what's what's behind those doors? Oh, well this is where I keep my clothes. Okay. So you'll probably have one of these in your apartment. I think it's pretty common. Mm-hmm. And what I did is I put a hanging rack inside mm -hmm. and I hang up all my clothes on this. Oh. Yeah, so I have the skirts and pants, um, dresses, shirts, jackets. It's just all here. Okay. And it's very easy because I can just open the closet and it's all hanging up here. Okay. So you don't have to like dig through a bunch of folded stuff. Um, I don't have to fold anything, which is great because I hate folding clothes. Mm -hmm. um, and I have a lot of space, you know, because it's all the way from here to here. Mm -hmm. And before there was, uh, you know, um, what are those called? Wardrobe? Mm -hmm. But it was about this big, mm -hmm. which is like normal for a wardrobe, but I have a lot of clothes. Mm -hmm. So it would not fit in And there. the jackets tend to be bulky too. Yeah. Okay. So you have futons here. Yeah. This is the futon that came with the apartment. Do you sleep on the futon? No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well on it at all. I had like a sore back every day. Mm -hmm. So I got a new mattress um, from Eon. Which was about 150, but then again, if you think you're sleeping every night, you want to have a good night's rest. Mm -hmm. It's probably worth it. Okay. All right. And nice. This is Kodatsu blanket, some extra stuff for guests. Okay. Nice. So you you mentioned um, the Kodatsu being very painful to sleep on. Yeah. So let us head into your bedroom. Ta-da! <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay. So walk us through how, you, walk us through your design, actually, yeah. because I realize you have a theme going on, which is, which mm. makes the place kind of very homely. Yeah. So where did you get this? I got this at Nitori. It's useful because um, it sort of like goes on the wall and ceiling, so it doesn't take up very much space. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I really like the wood, you know, I mm -hmm. have a lot of like wood stuff or just like neutral colors. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's very relaxing. It is. Definitely is. Thank you. Okay. I got these on Amazon. They're really cute, right? But they're fake. <laughs> I had some real plants and they all died. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So let's move on over here. Mm. Oh. Yeah. So it's a little untidy up there, but um, I've got my bags hanging and some random stuff up there. Okay. And you have your little mini bookshelf. Yeah. I got that hard off and I carried it home on the train. Was it the de assembled or was it like that? Yeah, standing up like that. What? <laughs> yeah. You've got a lot of stuff from Hard Off and things. Mm -hmm. But did you get where did you get the bed though? The bed I got from Nitori. Because again it's a larger thing that I can't really carry home on my own. So How much did you pay for the bed? Um, I think the bed frame was maybe a little under two hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it was worth it for me because the old one was plastic and on wheels. Mm -hmm. And so the bed would roll and the futon would fall off it. And it was very uncomfortable. So my question to you is this. When you leave yeah. Jet, when you leave Ojia, what do you plan to do with all the stuff that you've bought? Right. So some Jets will sell their things to the next person. But um, I don't think I'll do that because mm -hmm. the thing is they don't have another option, right? Like, I replaced a lot of the stuff. Mm -hmm. So they can't say, like, I won't buy this bed, I'll use the other bed, because this is the only bed here, right? So I think it's kind of unfair to make them pay for, like, all of these choices that I made. And when I think about it, like, the amount of time that I used it, I think I probably got my money's worth, you know? So okay. I'll probably just, like, leave most of it um, to the next person. Like, I'll take some stuff, like the art I have um, over there. I really like that piece, so I think I'll take it. And I'll ask them if they want me to, like, throw out any stuff, you know? Because, like, maybe they don't need, like, five blankets or whatever. <laughs> if I had this apartment, I wouldn't want you to throw anything out, so... <laughs> yeah. But, you know, just some personal stuff I'll take. But most of it I'll leave. Okay. So, talk to us about rent. Like, how much do you pay for rent? <laughs> so, the rent is kind of amazing. Um, the starting price is 250 a month. Mm -hmm. And then the BOE pays half. Mm -hmm. So I pay $125 a month. 125 US dollars is equivalent of how many yen? It would be um, 12,250. So 12,250? Yes. Ah. 
twelve thousand. Mm. Can you repeat that again? Uh, okay. Uh, so one two five zero zero. One two. Twelve thousand five hundred. Yeah, 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 that's what that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so cheap, right? right? Yeah, that's that is dub. That is like half my rent. Yeah. And that's like Nisa's rent is like triple the amount. Yeah, you know some ALTs pay five, ten times that amount. Yeah, like I wanted to go to Tokyo at first, but I've heard the rent prices there, and I'm kind of glad I got here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Thanks. So, like, what about utilities? Like, is it expensive? Um, I actually don't really check utilities. Um, but I think it's not too bad. Um, the electricity goes up in the winter because I mostly use this for heating, mm -hmm. and it's electric. Okay. Um, I think it's pretty good. I don't really notice. <laughs> okay. Is this a heater there? Yes, but I don't really like it. Is it gas? Yeah, I'm worried about it blowing up. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. So most most apartments in Japan mm -hmm. come with a gas heater, mm -hmm. and um, there's a risk of um, what do you call it? Oh, poison gas. Yeah, I of guess. poisoning yourself when you're yeah. asleep. So the advice is to use one of these, mm -hmm. or to use one of the teeny tiny um, heaters that you've seen in my apartment. Oh, I have one of those too. It's um, by the bed. Oh. Well, mine is a mine is a lot bigger than this. Oh, okay, yeah, but, mine is teeny tiny. Yeah, but mine is a little bit bigger, but yeah. it does the job. But what I do is like I get under the blankets and I put the heater right here, mm -hmm. and then the heat fills the blankets. You know. Yeah. It's probably a little unsafe, but I don't sleep like that. You know. Okay, just, just warm, warm yourself and then. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Zoe. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so for much for over. for introducing uh your yeah. apartment to us so for future ALTs um just pray and hope that you get to come to a GS that you can get you can get yeah. Zoe's apartment but guys remember to like to share and to subscribe and yeah. until next She's time got great videos <laughs> thanks Zoe so until next time I'll see you guys later bye bye